Hey guys, welcome back to Foam Dude. In this video, we are going to continue where we left off the last time. In the previous video, we saw how to do the castellated meshing. So let's uh, quickly take a look at where we are. The point where we left last time, we saw that the mesh was not conforming well with the edges. Um, and we saw that after running the first edition of castellated meshing, we were getting sort of like a jagged boundary at the at the interface of our Shinkansen where it intersects with the background mesh. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to how to make the mesh snap uh, to the surface and how to get a really smooth boundary that uh, really hugs the surface that you want to mesh. So let's open our uh, SnapyX mesh file. In the SnapyX mesh file, the last time when we turned on the controls, they were just the castellated mesh controls. And we were trying to refine the surface a little bit at the interfaces. Now we're going to look at the snap controls dictionary entry. You will see that there are two dictionary controls. One is explicit feature snap and the other is implicit feature snap. By default, SnapyX mesh has implicit feature snap control turned on. If you have to turn on explicit feature snap, then you have to uncomment the two lines that you see on the screen. So what happens if you turn on the explicit feature snap is you will have to extract the features separately instead of relying on snappy hex mesh to extract the features. And then those features would be refined or snapped to explicitly using the explicit feature snap control. So for the moment, we are going to keep the controls as is and we are going to use the default option that is implicit feature snap. What that means is SnapyX mesh will detect all the edges present in the current mesh and it will try to snap the, the jagged mesh, snap the castellated mesh to the nearest points. So in order to generate the mesh, all you have to do in the current setup is turn on the snap controls and exit the mesh. Uh, sorry, exit the SnapyX mesh file. <clears throat> At this point, I'm going to remove the previous time directory. So I'm going to do rm slash rf1 and rerun SnapyX mesh. It will take probably about 30 35 seconds to run the castellated mesh and SnapyX mesh altogether. You can see that it has already generated time directory 1, which stores the castellated mesh. The time directory 2 will store the mesh corresponding to the snap mesh. Uh, as you can see, I did not change a whole lot of controls and you already know that there are a ton of controls in SnapX mesh that you can uh, tune in order to get a better quality mesh, but that's those controls and influence of those controls on the mesh quality uh, is a topic for another video. So uh, let's take a look at how our mesh has changed from uh, let's say the block mesh to the castellated mesh to the snapped mesh. I'm going to make the projection camera parallel and switch my views. So this is where we started the background mesh. This was in the first uh, block mesh tutorial. In the next video where we started with SnapyX mesh, we did castellated mesh and we ended up with a mesh that looks like this. As you can notice, the finer mesh at the interfaces is because we have the refinement features uh, levels turned on. If you don't have that, it will just have uh, the level zero background mesh at the interfaces and it will be even more coarser. And now let's look at what happens after snapping. So now you can see the surface is much more uniform and smoother. Especially you can see uh, across this slanting edge where your mesh really hugs to the surface. And if you were to see how your snap has performed overall, you can quickly open your tri-surface. And you can see what exactly has happened in your... Sorry, I must have opened the other file to open STL. Alright, there we go. I'm going to make this uh, solid color and let's change this color a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make this navy blue. 
there we go that's our STL and exactly snapped mesh that we achieved after turning on the snap feature there we go in the next video we will see how to turn on the layer controls and how to add layers in your uh, in your mesh that has already been snapped so the logical progression of snap x mesh is going to be creating block mesh then doing the castellated meshing then doing the snap mesh to snap the mesh to the surface and then adding the layers on the surfaces that you wish all right that's it for now and i will see you in the next one